Greetings everyone from Costa Rica. Juan Carlos and I are back down here and today actually happens to be Independence Day back in the USA. Um, and of course, yeah, this is not celebrated here in Costa Rica. So Juan Carlos and I are celebrating in our own unique way. So we will say this is before and we'll show you the after in a minute. We're actually going to get our hair cut with our favorite barber. Uh, and so we're gonna do that. Then we're going to our favorite tortilleria get some tortillas and some traditional coffee and then we're going to see a scary movie yes so that's how we're celebrating Independence Day how did you celebrate your Independence Day give us some comments down below since this video will actually be uploaded on July 5th the day after but you know you get the point anyway off we go to get our haircut peace out everyone Okay, we have arrived just in time because, I mean, look, this is crazy hair. I am in so need of a haircut. I'm going to ask our barber, Douglas, to give me what they call here, cordo, which is... No. no corto. Sorry. Corto. I had to say it right. Thank you for correcting me, Juan Carlos. <laughs> My Spanish is coming along. I'm getting there. So I need a corto haircut, which means very short. I need it short. Shall we go? Vamos. Vamos. All right, we are inside the barber shop, and uh, Douglas is our barber. He's been cutting Juan Carlos's hair for approximately five years, and he's been doing my hair for about three years in my travels here to Costa Rica. It's always one of the best haircuts I get. I get really good ones in the U.S., but there's something about you just get a really, really, really great haircut when we come here, so we enjoy it. So I'll show you Juan Carlos as he gets his haircut a little bit, and then he'll show you some of me. We're not going to take up too much of your time, but we thought you might find this interesting. While Juan Carlos is getting his hair done, I'll kind of tell you what uh, our experience is like here when we come to this barbershop. Uh, so Douglas takes his time, gives you a really thorough, great haircut. You get an amazing, amazing salon style cut. Uh, in addition, you get a nice hot towel wrap on your face. It feels so good. Then you get a nice uh, shave, a traditional shave with a straight razor. Uh, and then he puts a mud mask and uh, lets that go on your face. Uh, washes that off and then you get a nice shampoo, condition, and then a style at the end. All of that treatment is only 25 bucks, folks. It's pretty, pretty amazing. And uh, yeah, so it's one of the reasons we keep coming back here. Um, I wish I could come here all the time, but my travels back and forth required me to get my hair cut. I got a barber in the U.S. and one here in Costa Rica, which works for us. Looking good. How's your haircut going so far? So far so good. You are styling and profiling. Styling and profiling. Look at that handsome man in the mirror. Yeah. All right, my turn to get a haircut. Everyone, that's Douglas. Hi, Douglas. <laughs> He is an amazing, amazing barber, and I would say stylist. So he's gonna make me look good. Look at Juan Carlos over there. All right, everyone, time to get my hair cut. We'll see you in a bit. So nice and short, just like I like it. I don't know, am I styling and profiling like Juan Carlos? Very. <laughs> profiling. Styling. Towel oh, feels amazing. And I got a new treatment that I've never had here before. I got my ears waxed. So yeah, no more caterpillars growing out of my ears. That's awesome. This feels so good.
after I look muddy. <laughs> what do you think, everyone? A new look? I'm gonna have to find out what's in this mask. Let's ask Douglas. So Douglas just informed us that the mask that they put on here is actually a play mask, and what it does is it pulls out the oils of your skin and tightens up everything so that you have a nice, smooth, nice complexion when you're done. And I'll testify that over the three years that I've been having this mask, it's always one of my favorite parts of getting my hair done here. It feels good. And so Juan Carlos and I are wrapped up here, and we've had, once again, an amazing barber experience. Mm -hmm. Douglas did an awesome job cutting our hair, and Jennifer, she rocked it out with the facial and the ear waxing on me. <laughs> You're lucky. You don't have all that hair in your ear like I do. Something to look forward to as you get older. Anyway, so if you ever find yourself here in Cartago, Costa Rica, definitely, definitely come to Vintage Barbershop CR. You can find them on Facebook at Vintage Barbershop CR, and uh, we highly recommend it for a great, great haircut, shave, and all that good stuff. Mm -hmm. That's it. We're going to go get the tortilla. Oh, yes. Yes, yummy, and coffee. So we're here at our favorite place in Cartago to get an afternoon snack. We're gonna have ourselves a coffee, cafecito, see, and uh, a couple tortillas. We're gonna put a link up above. We've been here before, tortilleria, and if you want to know more about this place, check that video out. Gracias. Gracias. And that everyone is called cafe choreado. And that's the traditional Costa Rican way of making coffee. And one of Juan Carlos and I's favorite ways to have coffee. What's the last one? Yeah. Yeah. Gracias. So we just got our tortillas. And again, I got a tortilla de queso, which means mine is made with cheese. And they're served here with nutilla, which is sort of like a sour cream and some extra cheese. And then Juan Carlos got the choreada, which is the sweeter tortilla and it's made out of corn really good so one thing I meant to point out earlier today that I forgot to do was we started our day today on this wonderful 4th of July with a nice hearty breakfast thanks to Mama Digna Juan Carlos's mother she brought over homemade arepas for us and if you've never had an arepa uh, let me explain what that is here in Costa Rica it's most similar to what we have in the USA called a pancake and uh, here in Costa Rica, typically they serve them with honey or butter, butter etc. But because Juan Carlos and I were just in Canada two weeks ago, we picked up some wonderful fresh maple syrup. So that's what we had with our arepas. It was a great way to start the day. Now our mid-afternoon coffee and tortillas, awesome. And then we're going to end our day today going over and seeing, ooh, a scary movie. So far, a good day, Juan Carlos? Yes, it is. All right, so hang tight. We'll see you at the theater. Here we are in front of Sinopolis, and we are about to go see Annabella, as we said. We're going to go in and check out the VIP experience. And again, stay tuned for that little extra something that we like to get here that we can't get back at home in the U.S. of A. Mm -mm -mm, it's yummy. You'll see. She's coming home. So Juan Carlos and I are now sitting in the VIP area here at Sinopolis. And uh, they have a nice little waiting area out here where they clean the theater. We're going to take a look at the menu. All right, so page one of the menu, they've got a nice selection of sushi. Yakameshi specials, you can get salads, tapas, potato skins. Let's go to page number two. Juan Carlos is being our Vanna White. And you can get hamburgers, salmon, pizzas, chicken fingers, quesadillas, you know, french fries and the like. And next. And on this page, we've got some baguette sandwiches. You can get turkey, cheese, chicken salad, Mediterranean, salmon, really yummy. And then, uh, yeah, so you got all of that. Next. 
And then over here we've got some crepes. So you can get hearty crepes or you can get the kind with all the sweets, dessert crepes. Yummy, yummy. And then we move on. Yeah, Juan Carlos loves those. Moving on to the beverages. Oh, we got one more. Oh yeah, postre. Sweets. Look at all that. Cheesecakes and coffees. Other kinds of beverages. Hot chocolate. Yummy. Next. Wow, you can get frozen drinks and smoothies and frappes. And then they have a full service bar here, full liquor, beer and wine. Moving on. And last page. A little more on the alcohol. And then they have the classic things that you can always get in a movie theater, popcorn and candy. And we're gonna zoom in. The special thing that they have here is what's called mixto. And mixto is regular popcorn, salted and buttered, with caramel popcorn, half and half. I wish we had that in the US, but I've never seen a movie theater that has it. If you know of one, let me know and put a comment down below. But oh my gosh, it's so yummy. So we're gonna get that. So we're the first ones inside, so I can just show you what the interior looks like of the theater before all the other guests get in here. But it's quite lovely, stadium seating, very comfortable seats. They do recline with the typical table, little light, and you get in-seat service when you're here. So you order here and they bring you your food and drinks right to you. Juan Carlos has settled into his seat, getting comfy. We're gonna sit down and then decide what we're gonna eat and enjoy the movie. Yeah. You wanna see on a house? Yummy Some caramel. Cheese one missing, popcorn. so they boarded it up. Just, oh, I'm not touching that. Baby, caramel popcorn. Fire it. Oh, crap. Regular Some popcorn. <laughs> not that. Why are you laughing? Oh, no. So good. Okay, so I think Juan Carlos thinks we're in first class on an airplane. He's got his reclined all the way back. <laughs> are you comfy? See? Yeah. So these seats are very comfortable. We've seen many movies here. And um, yeah, we like this theater a lot. There are several like this in the USA as well. But um, when we're in Costa Rica, this is our favorite. Yeah, it's over here. close to our house. Yeah, it's close to the house. We can come here and have dinner and a movie for relatively inexpensive. Right? Yeah. So we're going to turn off the camera now, but uh, here's what I'd like to say to everybody. What do we need to tell them? Happiness. Oh yeah, he wants you to subscribe. I want you to subscribe too. But our mantra is, happiness is a lifestyle. And we really do believe that, folks. So I hope you do too. Thank you very much for watching. And as Juan Carlos said, please subscribe. Do it. And then maybe hit that bell icon. You can get notified when we upload videos. And, um, yeah, give us some feedback, right? We do like reading the comments, and even Juan Carlos is now replying to them. Aren't you? See? Yes. So, anyway, until next time, everybody, thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed this video. Ciao.